play here anyway. Too much dead stuff. Well, she nodded at me. Very suggestively on my app. A suggestive nod? You've been single too long. Off, you're blocking my view. <laughs> Nothing wrong with looking, is there? Ah, a man can dream. As swift as my feet can carry me. Going in there to hell. It was Runt's idea. Want to buy a devil? You first. I oh, double drab dare you. Are you afraid? I bloody believe it. No more puzzles. A travesty. Can you believe it? They removed the Baldur's Mouth puzzle section. That was the best bit. And for what? An interview with some lord. I don't care what he's done. I just want my letter games back. The devils in there can swallow kids whole. Even stinky. What's up for discussion? Speak thrice the phrase correctly and lucky you'll forever be. Okay, great. Scarab, scarab... Oh, damn it! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Scarab, sap, scarabs, cap... Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Devil's feet. Let's see what this does. <laughs> A fake devil head. A lot of effort for a piece of window dressing. This is real. A death devil skull, by my reckoning. There's no time to waste. Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> At least things have stayed interesting.
Imitation horns. But barely distinguishable from the real thing. Can't afford to stay idle. Holy shit, they're real. Torn from a war devil's skull. Real war devil horns. The book's undersold just how big they are. Horns from an honest to hell's war devil. My, my. Damn. Someone tore the horns off a war devil. Looking ahead. These boots have seen everything. A portrait of a noble devil. Charming, sophisticated, deadly. Hmm, what's that? Better not be cursed. There is work to do. This head's no local, certainly. A death devil from the fugue plane. This is real. A death devil skull, by my reckoning. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. A real fiend skull. By the size, I'm guessing a gargatula. well that ends not as bad as it could have let's see looking at the painting makes you dizzy you feel a dull pressure behind your eyes should mind my step. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. Oh no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. Well, well. It's been a while since I've had such discerning custom. Here, you may browse my more curated selection.
Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the devil's fee. No one stopped me yet. No one back home will ever believe this. customer. Welcome back. Truly. That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. And for what? The devil has nothing that you need. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never 
here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! A long way to go still. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the Devil's Fee. I've got a long road ahead. avoids that topic. What are you staring at, pal? You dropping eaves? Get gone! Stay sceptical out there, pal. Not enough in this city do, especially with that gazette rag in circulation. Zet has a transcript of a conversation with Archduke Gortash. What's he got to say for himself? It was another day in the City of Lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. Strangers? Only in a fool's definition of the word. It was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice, no matter the cost. 
All the tall one had to do was say yes. The tall one had passed the first test. The second would come when they were ready. And not before. When would they be ready? Only the tall one and fate truly knew. No, he mostly avoids that topic. With haste. You one of Tamrin's friends? Well, we haven't seen him. He did a runner one night, never came back. You won't find him here. You aren't a stonemason by any chance? Nah, suppose not. I'll give it a shot. Home of Lavernica, groundskeeper of Bloomdridge Park. Lover of birds, bees, and everything in between. No, it's not. What's the point of a story without an ending? The books are all about the journey, Morgan. Obviously. I never leave them behind. Tell you what, I really enjoyed our book this month. Dusk's Dark Desires. Highly recommend it. Hang on, hang on. Don't distract me. I've been waiting a bloody month to talk about this book. Oh, hello there. Feel free to listen in, but only members may participate in discussion. And what were your general feelings on the book? A thrilling moment. Goose pimples. Goose pimples are right. Bits of the book were downright naughty. Morgan, please! We're in public. Let's keep away from the book's racier parts. Racy? More like juicy. A very juicy read. I asked you. Yeah. The book was a lot more lewd than its prequels. Please focus. We're the book brigade, not a smart symposium. There's figures hiding in the foliage. Might be a trap. I just don't know how to say it. Thanks, I think we should start seeing other people. Finally, it took you long enough, especially with all these new oh, things. Yes. They've been well. Well. You said to hide my identity. There's plenty of folk in this park we could get to know. It is hard. Impossible sometimes when you get impossible. Shut the What a charmer. It's only been a month, Wendell. I cannot believe you come to us. I wonder what the next move is. Never a dull moment. Let's have some fun. They won't see me coming. Prove it! Wanna dance? Another one who can't take a bit of hard work. Turn down the fire. The first one to give up before he got paid, though. What next? I could ask them to keep it down. Anything for you, dear. Listen, Wendell. I really think we need to have a chat. Are we not already having a chat, my angel? <sighs> I'm sorry for Wendell. He does get a touch, uh, over-effusive about our courtship. Pay him no heed.
You said you wanted to chat, my love? Yes. I can. I did want to chat, Wendell. What did you want to talk about, my darling? Well, I asked you here because... God, never mind. You can't see me. If you insist. Let's turn down the fire. Secrecy above all. Finally, took you long enough. What are you? I don't want to think about why my eye is itching. Another step forward. I don't care what Emmons said. I'm not getting the ball. And you can't make me. Don't get me wrong. Stupid Connell. Throwing my ball. Sorry. Mum said I shouldn't talk to strangers. We redden our steel by the light of day in his name. You are our lamb, ready for slaughter. Watch the shadows. Lady Orin asked us to test you, but I think you'll fail. What say you? Little lamb. Let this murder be his sacrament. Keep your distance, darling. Nothing in between is ever Forever, pal.
with finesse. Let this murder be his Sacrament!
Fuck yes. Now this is my happy place.
death's cold grip. Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The elder brain. Do not waste time. This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen, just listen. We learn, we grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us, necromancer, dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them. You have a place in my grand design. What? What happened? Why do I taste copper? 